in Dr. Hazarizal's novels Noli Metanger and El Filibusterismo. Some of the main antagonists were people of the church. Rizal exposed the cruelty of the friars through his novels. He showed how ruthless and heartless they could be while putting up an angelic front. He showed through his novels that they were corrupt, no different from the politicians of today. But what spurred Rizal to go against the church? Of course, it was nothing but the truth. Rizal, affectionately called Pepe by his family, was brought up in a Catholic family. His birth was not easy for his mother, and she almost died. Rizal wrote that had his mother not promised to take him on a pilgrimage to the shrine of the Virgin of Antipolo, she would have died. This is a sign of the family's fervent Catholic faith. Rizal was baptized in the Catholic Church of Calamba on June 22, 1861, three days after his birth. Reverend Rufino Colliantes presided over the ceremony and his godfather was Reverend Pedro Casanias. His namesake was St. Joseph and it is another show of his family's devotion to Catholicism. One of his earliest memories was the daily Angelus prayer. By nightfall, his mother would gather all the children and they would pray the Angelus. At the age of three, Rizal already started taking part in the family prayers taught to him by his loving mother. When he was five, he was already able to read, although haltingly, the Spanish family Bible. Rizal loved his religion. He went to church to pray, to take part in novenas, and to join the religious processions. He was apparently so devout that Hermanos and Hermanos Terceras jokingly called him Manong Jose. When he was sent to Binyan Laguna for his studies, he still did not forget his piousness. He went to the parish church to hear Mass at 4 o'clock in the morning. Other evidences of his spirituality are the poems he wrote when he was a child. Among them are Al Niño Jesus, La Alianza Intima Entre la Religión y la Buena Educación, which were both written in 1876, and A la Virgen Maria. Also, when he was studying in the Ateneo, he carved a sculpture of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, as requested by the Jesuit priest, Father Leonard. When Rizal went to the Ateneo, a Jesuit school, he started his day with a prayer and ended it with one. In Calamba, one of the men he esteemed and respected was the town priest, Father Leandro Lopez. Rizal wasn't really against the church per se, he was against the leaders of the church. In his later life, he started disagreeing with the Catholic teachings. He didn't believe that only Catholics were worthy of salvation. And neither did he like the sale of religious symbols. In his later life, he became a Mason. Around 1882 to 1883, when he was in Spain, Rizal was encouraged by his friends to leave Catholicism and turn to Masonry. In 1883, he joined the Masonic Lodge Casha in Madrid. His Masonic name was De Masalang. His change of beliefs could be attributed to two things. Firstly, he was disgusted by the friars in the Philippines, and secondly, he needed the help and support of other Masons to stand up against the evil friars inhabiting his land. He became a Master Mason in Lodge Solidaridad on the 15th of November, 1890. Years later, on February 15, 1892, he became a Master Mason of Le Grand Orient, France, in Paris. After becoming a Mason, his visits to the church became less frequent until he completely halted from going. However, in his correspondence with Father Pablo Pastels, while he was exiled in Dapitan, it was shown that he still had faith in the Divine Providence. Rizal deemed it necessary to change his religion to go against the evildoers in the Philippines. But it wasn't only a sign of his rebellion against the Spanish friars. 
It also shows his compassion for other people. He believed that religion shouldn't be the basis of one's faith and that a religion shouldn't judge another religion. Rizal wasn't a Catholic until the end, but he was a man of faith through and through.